welcome to our new video that is mcqs on microscope stain and staining techniques and this is the third part of this series of videos on microscope stain and staining techniques okay so the first question is which instrument is used to determine the turbidity and indirectly the bacterial count of a given sample and the options are zeta sizer zeta scissor or spectrophotometer or centrifuge or all of the above and the right answer is option b that is spectrophotometer so spectrophotometer instrument is used to determine the turbidity and indirectly the bacterial count of a given sample so the next question dekhte. so next question hai, measuring the metabolic activity of a bacterial sample provides direct count of the bacteria indirect count of the bacteria both a and b or none of the above and the uh, right answer is option b that is indirect count of the bacteria so measuring the metabolic activity of a bacterial sample provides indirect count of the bacteria okay so next question dekhenge. Standard curve is required to calculate the bacterial content using which method and options are MPN, turbidity method, oxygen content or none and the right answer is option B that is turbidity method. So standard curve is required to calculate the bacterial content using turbidity method. Okay. So next question kya hai? So basic dyes bind to nucleic acids, many proteins and the surface of prokaryotic cells because they have positively charged group. That means these basic dyes have positively charged groups or they have negatively charged groups of or they have no charge or none of these. And the right answer is option A that is they have positively charged Group. So basic dyes bind to nucleic acid, many proteins and the surface of prokaryotic cells because they have positively charged groups. Okay. So the next question is, so the major component of the confocal microscope is the scanner or the objective lens or the aperture or the detector and the right answer is option C that is the aperture. So the major component of the confocal microscope is the aperture okay so the next question is in confocal microscope the only light used to create the image is from below the plane of focus or above the plane of focus or the plane of focus or all of them and the right answer is option c that is the plane of focus so the in infocal microscope the only light used to create the image is from the plane of focus okay so the next question is in infocal uh, in confocal microscope the digitized information of each plane in the specimen is received by mirror detector scanner or computer and the right answer is option d that is computer so in confocal microscope the digitized information of each plane in the specimen is received by computer okay so the next question is the study of bioflames can be done using the technique of transmission electron microscope scanning scanning electron microscope or scanning probe microscope or confocal microscope and the right answer is option d that is confocal microscope so the study of bioflames can be done using the technique of confocal microscopy okay so next question abhi. so which of these is not an acidic dye so options are malachite green eosin rose bengal or acid fusion and the right answer is option a that is malachite green so malachite green is not an acidic dye okay so next question is acidic dye stain best under neutral ph condition acidic ph condition basic ph condition or all of the conditions and the right answer is option b that is acidic ph condition so acidic dye stains best under acidic pH condition okay so next question they can get Shudan 3 or Sudan black selectively stains DNA 
or RNA or carbohydrates or lipids and the right answer is option D that is lipids. So, Sudan 3 or Sudan black selectively stains lipids. Okay. So, next question they can give you. So, which one of the following microscope can be used for studying unstained and dividing cells and the options are electron microscope, phase contrast microscope, polarizing microscope or all of this and the right answer is option B that is phase contrast microscope. So, phase contrast microscope can used for studying unstained and dividing cells. Okay. So, next question kya hai? So, ability to distinguish two closely placed points is resolving power, video power or dis distinguishing power or magnifying power. So, the right answer is option A that is resolving power. So, resolving power is the ability to distinguish two closely placed points. Okay. So, next question kya hai? Next hai. Resolving power of human eye, compound microscope and electron microscope are respectively. So, resolving power is option A, 100 micro millimeter and compound microscope resolving power is 0 0.25 micrometer or and electron microscope uh, <coughs> resolving power is 10 angstrom. So, in the next option that is option B said that the first one that is resolving power of compound microscope uh, sorry resolving power of human eye is 100 mm and compound microscope 100 nanometer and 100 angstrom is for electron microscope next option 1 millimeter 10 millimeter and 100 nanometer or last option 1 millimeter 0 0.5 micrometer or 1 angstrom so the right answer about their resolving power is option a that is 100 millimeter for human eye 0 0.25 micrometer for compound microscope and 10 angstrom for electron microscope okay so this is the correct so let's see the next question that is dna can be stained using acid for staining zell nelson method fuel gun method or scaffor fulton procedure okay so the right answer is option c that is fuel gun procedure okay so dna can be stained using fuel gun procedure so let's see the next question that is simple staining is used to determine size of the prokaryotic cell shape of the prokaryotic cell arrangement of the prokaryotic cell or all of these and the right answer is option d all of these so simple staining is used to determine size shape and arrangement of prokaryotic cells okay so next question is gram staining and acid for staining are types of flagella staining differential staining simple staining or negative staining and the right answer is option b that is differential staining so gram staining and acid for staining are types of differential staining so next one is stains of medical interest are identified using which methodology and options are serotyping identification of toxins or characterization of plasmids or all of the above and the right answer is option c that is characterization of plasmids so strains of medical interest are identified using characterization of plasmids okay so move on to the next question that is which factor determine the dna relatedness in phylogenetic in phylogenic analysis and the options are guanin plus cytosine that is, that is G plus C content or genome size or both A and B or none of the above and the right answer is option C that is both A and B is correct. So, this two that is uh, GC content and genome size determine the DNA relatedness in phylogenic analysis and the last question of this video that is which important factors are taken into account to identify serotypes of public health importance and the options are cell wall o antigen flagellar h antigen capsular k antigen or all of the above and the right answer is option d that is all of the above so all of these antigens are important factor that are taken into account to identify stereotypes of public health importance okay so these are all 20 questions of this video so thank you for watching this video